how do you get your Steam games to show up in your start menu in Windows 10? Well, today I'll be showing you how to do just that. And to do this, we're going to be using a handy little program called Steam Tile. But the first thing you've got to do is go to your Steam profile and then click on Edit Profile then click on my privacy settings and then make sure your profile status is set to public this is important because steam tile is going to have to fetch your games list to be able to pin the games to your start menu so after you've set your profile to public go back to my profile and then copy your custom URL. So copy the text in this box and then go to the Windows Store, search for Steam Tile, download it, launch it, and then copy the custom Steam URL that we just got from your uh, profile and then paste it right into here and click update and then it will start fetching your games and that's pretty much everything you have to do from here on out it's very easy all you do is you click the games you want to have pinned to your start menu so I'll pin this this and this so really any game you want you can pin to your start menu and Ta-da! Here they are. Now you can also resize them if you want to, so I can make it wide. I can make it large if I want to. And I can move them around the, throughout the start menu. And to unpin them, all you have to do is click them again. And now Skyrim has disappeared from the start menu. Now the only issue is that when you launch a game from the start menu, so if I were to launch this game right here, it launches Steam Tile first, and afterwards it launches the actual game right here. So that's the only problem really that there is. But this is a Windows related issue. Windows launches Steam Tile first and then it launches your game. Uh, it's not that big of a problem because Steam Tile doesn't use too much of your uh, memory. But after you've launched your game, you can close Steam Tile and then you can play your game. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video and if this worked for you, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.